Welcome back to another episode of Grim Soul Survival. Today we return, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. We finally got the Night at the Cemetery event to spawn. I have been trying to get this thing spawned for a week straight. That is why there have been no Grim Soul videos, but finally it is here. We are here, and we are going to be diving head first into it. So without further ado, I hope that we are prepared enough. I hope that that's enough armor to get us through this, and I hope that we got the proper weaponry to get through this as well but yeah it's been a huge struggle trying to get this to happen uh, but finally dude it's been i've spent days days just running around trying to get it to spawn and here's the spooktastic cemetery we gotta be prepared for so uh this is oh my god i'm already hearing a witch uh <laughs> well oh, well at the same time worst things worst we can always run out of here screaming like little baby because there's always the chance things are about to go awful but yeah let me know what you guys think as we do check this out that comment section down below and seriously apologies that it took us so long but i literally could not get the event to spawn and what what is, what is this what is this thing is this thing coming for me? What 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 is this? What is this? Oh, hello leper. Hello. How did you see me already? <laughs> Goodbye, my friend. <laughs> okay, well that's easy. Got him out of the way. I wonder if we can maybe do a quick uh run around the perimeter and see if we can't get these dudes to like run at us one by one, maybe? Because I dude, there's so many graves. Things are going to be coming from these graves. There is just no way. What is that? Uh Oh, oh. Yeah, look at that. Oh, ho, ho, ho. they literally rise from the graves. Don't tell me I gotta like break the graves or something. Oh wow, this, this is gonna be a doozy, ain't it? Mm. I think every time we hear that bell happen, like someone might get reanimated. So I'm, I'm looking around though. There are a lot of things that we can loot up. So that's the good news. Like I'm saying though, the bad news is, is that there's a lot of enemies. So let's finally go ahead and dive into it. But I'd love to hear what you guys gotta say about this in the comment section down below. Make sure you subscribe to the notification bell to stay up to date with a Grim Soul Survival series as it continues. Not to mention many other dope survival games all along the way as well. But if you guys just hear that, they're like dong, kind of like the gong getting hit. I feel like, oh my god, this is some good loot. No wonder it's such a doozy to get this thing to spawn. It looks like it's quite worthwhile. And this side, I'm not hearing a witch. So that's the good news. Like, it doesn't look like there are super powerful enemies yet. Just looks like there's a ton of, like, slightly, slightly stronger ones. Like, nothing too insane. Our armor is still looking all right. Let's continue looking through these tombstones and hopefully get in more dope stuff like that. Because, like, two bronze ingots, dude? That's nothing to scoff at. Like, ah, I'm getting gassed. Okay. Well, apparently that is something that we got to worry about as well. Uh, the fact that I have literally been poisoned. Wow. Dude, that's actually really cool that that happened though. Like I, I'm, I'm not happy it happened. Don't get me wrong, but it's kind of cool how they have that as like a feature. Cause I know in the dungeon or whatever, there was, uh, I think that one toxic enemy that can poison you. So it looks like they might've been kind of testing the toxicity with uh whatever's going on now because the dude opening the wrong one can definitely lead to some consequences by the looks of it but yeah it's definitely looking like an interesting event it's just such a pain because it's so specific it will only spawn at night and even then that doesn't mean it's guaranteed to spawn at night there's always a chance that see a leper uh there's always the chance that instead of this spawning at night it will be something like uh, the cart dude oh my god i had like 10 carts to spawn when i was in the middle of like trying to get this to happen right it was it was a straight up struggle but finally we have come out on the other side of the struggle and here we are enjoying things and that's another zombie running our way but yeah we gotta be ready because this kind of reminds me of a good old trick or treat it's halloween we're in a freaking cemetery halloween came early this year because we gotta be careful that these things literally don't gas us as they do open up but i love to hear what y'all gotta say ah! that's not what i like that's not what i like that's not what i like at least we got band-aids right here that's the good news but i'm trying to save the band-aids when the going actually gets very tough uh let's kill this leper over here we drink a little bit of the booze maybe a couple of those and hopefully that'll get us back up to where we should be i mean we are still suffering that poison damage but we're doing okay we're doing okay and as long as we kind of like make our way to this witch last i think we'll be okay hold on i wonder this one has like a slight green tint to it i wonder dude the, the, no, they, 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 it all looks like they kind of have a tent. Have I not opened that one yet? I thought for sure. Oh my God, wait, really? It takes a giant timer to open it each time? I'm not 100% sure how I feel about this. Have I, I oh, 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 I feel good about that one. Actually, dude, we should have already a couple of sets of armor. So if this one breaks, 
We'll be able to equip some other stuff. What up, Lepa? How you doing? But yeah, it looks like it just constantly, slowly will be sending enemies at you. I'm seeing about two to three each and every wave, but just make sure I have opened this one, right? And I kind of want to see if maybe if we keep on opening the same one, if it has a chance of like, no, we did open this one. Never mind. I'm remembering things wrong. Okay, okay. That's reinforcing to hear because there's some good stuff here. Uh, I think I hear footsteps being taken towards us. Now we're still looking good, but the Lepa does approach, but... Yeah, this place is actually super, super dope when it comes to getting some Lutsky doodles. <laughs> Make sure you come here with an empty inventory and enough weapons to take out some of them weaker fell. Oh, oh, oh my God. Oh my goodness gracious. This is not what I was expecting. <laughs> can I take these guys out before they take me out? Oh my God, I am as butt naked as can be. Oh, this is this, this could be very bad because... Okay, hold on. They're still sending enemies at me. Uh, we're, we're, we're very naked right now, and I'm just trying to uh, uh, drink up a little bit of booze. Okay, okay, okay. I'm tossing some clothes. Oh, my God. My weapons are breaking. This is not what I wanted. Not what I wanted. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We just got to toss some clothes on. We're, uh, we'll toss that in that slot. Um, um, I, I got boots. Okay. I, I'm the glove and boots man. Who needs pantalones? Who needs a shirt? Who needs a hat when you got glove and you got the boots? But I think now comes the time where we got to deal with this a witch. Is that the witch? No, that's not the witch yet. But there are a couple of things over here we can investigate. So let's get to Gaten and see what this does contain. Anything good here by chance? Maybe, maybe. My coffin, baby. Oh, that's a dam being summoned. Oh, okay. At least there's stuff in there. I was definitely worried that was about to poison us. We freaking send even more zombies our way. So it appears there are three types of chests so far from what we are seeing. There's the chest actually filled with loot. So there are the chests filled with zombies that will chase after you and not be very nice. Enemies have hidden somewhere nearby. Yeah, in the tombstones, my guy. And then there's the one where you get uh, freaking gas grenaded or something. Like it's a special grenade out of some shooter. Oh, yep, that's another. Oh my goodness, they're sending a lot at us. At least we got the band-aids though. So if the going gets rough, because it probably will. There we go, we can heal up a little bit. We got plenty of band-aids to get through this. I was hoping to save the band-aids and use like food to heal, but... It's not looking as likely as it was before. It's good to have the band-aids on the tap, though. Oh, uh, we do have some of these, like, what? We're getting actually a lot of good scrolls, like scroll for control here. Those are some pretty good ones. Uh, okay, I already looted that one. Just making sure. I think now is the time for us to go through the last little pair of things. Uh, ooh. So there's gonna be a witch and something else right by her. Hey, 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 witch. How you doing, girl? How you doing? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I see you. I see you. I'm just trying not to bother you too much. I'm just trying to maybe get your buddy's attention from around the area. I'm also gonna equip the morning star instead and maybe inch my way forward. So there we go. There we go. They're just trying to take about one by one and then hopefully get a sneak attack off on the witch so I can take her out before I, I am very scared that she's going to yell for like everyone in a 50 mile radius to come chasing after us. Like she's going to summon things out of the graves. It's not going to be good. But bless up, dude. It feels so good to be playing Grim Soul. You guys do not understand literally how long I've been trying to get this to happen. And finally, it spawns in and oh. There we go. Okay, we got some more of these dudes that are going to be running at us. Come meet me in my own arena, foul fiend. We got three dudes running at us, so not too bad. And this mace is doing some pretty nice work from them. And as soon as they take our health down a little bit more, let's go ahead and eat up on the honey. And we're looking pretty good. We just got to take out the leper or two while the honey continues to heal us. Ah, yeah, didn't heal us all the way. Uh, but here's the moment of truth. Can we kill the witch before she decides to yell and uh, I summon a lot of things? Hello, witch. Don't notice me. Don't mind me. Just smacking you in the back of the face. Oh. oh, she didn't get a chance to yell. She did not get a chance to yell. Bless up. I, I have a feeling that could have been like 50 million times worse. And so we can get the last coffin of the night at the cemetery. But definitely a cool event. I just wish they didn't make it as rare. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, yeah, there's absolutely nothing left here for us except poison and death. Ah, don't mind me. Will I skedaddle on out of here? I want nothing to do with that cemetery no more. But there you have it, the night at the cemetery. Again, that only spawns at night. Although if you run over there, like you guys can see, it's the middle of the day, it still exists. So that's the good news. But to get it to spawn, it does need to be at nighttime. So it's a little bit tricky, but if and when it does happen, it's actually a pretty freaking dope. So let's begin making our way back it's a base and as we are doing that there's a little something i actually wanted to talk about boom but you guys are seeing right here right now it's actually posted uh earlier this week i would have loved to cover it a little bit faster but uh, uh, again the cemetery didn't want to spawn i have been trying to i'm not kidding i'm not exaggerating i have been logging in every single day for like a week straight trying to get that to spawn 
finally it spawns it's a day but dear exiles not so long after releasing the last update our team is eagerly working on a new one work is in full swing and running smoothly so everyone is looking forward to seeing great results we want to start lifting the veil of mysteries while giving you a glimpse of those little yet most pleasant things such as the game mechanics behold you are about to see a trap and get a chance to enjoy a discussion about the perks of its use and the welcoming playlines and what we are seeing is a picture a picture slash sketch of what you might ask well this little thing known as the bear trap finally being added in and why in our nation would we need a trap you know why at least you know what my thoughts are on this i believe the reason that this trap is in play is not to trap bears that might wander across our base because i mean there are bears in the game bears do exist so maybe bears will start being like hello knock knock it's your neighbor where are girl scout cookies and then when i don't have any cookies to give them they maw my face but that's a different story but a bear trap is actually a trap it's actually a trap we've seen in a variety of games it's not just a trap that we've seen in uh grimsel but it's actually a trap we've seen in the other kafir game last day on earth and what are traps used for in that game you might ask oh yeah that one thing known as base defense most likely exactly what's gonna be happening with this meaning why 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 would we need to defend our base well it appears that grim soul might be working towards a rating system of its own after all it is a kafir game and i do believe grim soul does have aspirations to become multiplayer so honestly adding in a proper like defense system adding in like traps you can set up all that type of jazz honestly falls kind of in line with exactly what it might be and looking through the menu why don't we actually go ahead and see some other things that might be coming with this as well now that doesn't guarantee that they're all going to be coming but i think if anything the bear trap is definitely pointing and alluding towards a rating system which would be a very very welcome addition because remember it's something you have to build and it's something you have to put down and the main place you're putting things down is going to be at your base so it makes most sense for that and why would you be protecting your base well against raiders of some kind maybe it'll be different maybe it'll be like ai raiders or something instead of like necessarily like other people's bases or something but this is the trap exactly being talked about and you can even like tech i'm pretty sure you can craft it now it will meet uninvited guests on your behalf while you're away all that it takes is iron ingots wire and copper shots although is is hold on it might be because oh isn't iron harder to craft in this game that might be it we might not be able to craft iron yet that's why okay it seemed like it was attainable but iron is kind of like copper and it is weird copper is like the first resource you get uh but it does appear that it is going to be taking iron now i could be wrong on that but i'm like i'm, I'm relatively certain because now that i think about it, i don't think i've seen any iron yet so again that is something that doesn't line up perfectly with that but what else here could potentially be alluding to that and honestly it doesn't look like there's a whole ton of other like stuff it appears that the trap is like the main trap in the game because looking through all this stuff like maybe the secret stash could oh my god meteoric ingot that sounds dope like the secret stash that could kind of be something but that just seems like an end game safe for the most part and then scrolling through the rest of this like the only other trap i think that currently exists is the stakes and we can already craft that so i think the main reason for them to add in another type of trap would be exactly for that base rating slash base defense system so it'd be awesome because this would be the second mobile survival game to add actually get a dedicated base rating slash base protection system and given the fact that grim soul is a kafir game i think it would kind of make most sense for this to be the second one so if that were to be the case what would make the most sense well we are in update 1.2 I believe, yeah, we're in update 1.2 or so. So knowing that we are in such an update, it makes sense for something as massive as Raiden to kind of be in a bigger type of update. And Grim Soul doesn't seem like it has a whole ton of updates in between like major version changes, like 1.1 going to 1.2, 1.2 going to 1.3, etc., etc. So all in all, there might be like a couple of smaller content updates in the works. But uh, dude, honestly, by the looks of it, I think the rating system might be the next thing they're looking to expand because you're already able to do the first floor of the dungeon. So would they already? be expanding to the second floor so quickly i don't think so i think the fact that a dungeon exists in some capacity is already good enough for them in that aspect and they probably want to focus on a couple of other aspects and i mean the other main things they'd probably be able to incorporate would be again raiding seems like the most at least the one that makes the most sense to me but the other thing that would make a lot of sense is the ability to actually travel across here for example now i can't currently click that but that would require the usage of the stable and a horse that you would subsequently tame although i don't believe you can actually 
actually finish that slash tame the horse as is and would they already be looking to expand the map i don't know man because there's still probably some stuff over here they want to work on first like we don't even have access to the second dungeon necessarily although the northern zone and last down earth was uh unlocked before or it was added an update before bunker bravo which is pretty much what this is over here in grim soul terms like compared to last down earth this is the bunker bravo of grim soul so it is still possible but all in all especially given the teaser image that they posted i don't really do believe in i don't get an hypothesis for what is coming next at least in the next major update would it be some form of rating system which be very very cool to see grimstone incorporate because if you guys do think about it as well and if you follow me back over here to the designs slash crafting things technically speaking you're already capable of making uh the powder charge you know it is already possible we have black gunpowder we have gunpowder all that jazz in the game so the only thing that like you can even do powder kegs too because like that isn't necessarily that different compared to the powder charge so you didn't have multiple forms of explosives so maybe they'll add in like some form of like level four wall but all in all that's what it seems like to me but hey if you guys have something else if you guys have different thoughts i'd love to hear that account so down below you guys thoughts on my thoughts you guys original thoughts any of that type of jazz i can't wait to what y'all gotta say down below because grim soul definitely has some cool cool beans type of stuff coming always especially if it decides to incorporate uh base raiden or something of the sort. But for now, we are incorporating home because that is exactly where we have arrived. And ooh, another thing. I actually went ahead and got myself an elegant chest that I wanted to show off for you boys and girls. So if you guys don't know about the elegant chest, it is like one of the... It's not a resource, is it? No, it is actually one of the castle things you can buy. It was only a dollar because it's 67% off and it gives us space for 20 trophies and low-key, it actually looks super freaking dope and... Well, I'm not really too interested in buying a table for $2 because it, it, it does nothing. I don't care about decorating my base with a $2 table. If I want to decorate anything with a $2 table, it'll be IRL because that's kind of impressive. A $2 table? Hot mama. That must be a bad table or a really good deal. Bada bing, bada boom. Let's get that puppy plopped on down. And it is going to be providing us a little bit more storage than we were getting through the other stuff, but it will be a great place for us to go ahead and drop some stuff off. We even got a bowstring from the night at the cemetery, which is welcome. Some of these empty barrels, which will be nice for the stuff that's to come in the form of powdered kegs, especially that's going to be some stuff we're going to want to be crafting if uh, that rating update indeed we do is in the works soon because it did say that they are already uh, working on a new one and mm, I, I don't know man we are only an update 1.2.1 they did update to a 1.2.1 in case you guys didn't know uh, but mm, not, nothing really major happened I think it was for the most part like a couple of small bug fixes nothing too nutty there but here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get the sword to put away because that is a nice sword that does 58 damage and here we are naked and wonderful looking as forever we also do have our super dope set of armor here the great helm great boots scale gauntlets all this jazz like this is a nice set but unfortunately it is not as fancy as uh, well i mean it, it is fancy but it's our only set so i'm probably saving that for when an actual difficult thing does pop up the cemetery was suspiciously easy once you take your time and if you have the right approach which is a very good thing to hear but i'm just looking for more clothes man where hath I put my clothes? God dang it. Uh, I, I thought for sure I put it in one of these chests, but I suppose, no, I don't, I, I ain't really got a whole ton of clothes apparently. Well, hokey dokey, that's all right with me. I don't mind being the man of the gloves and boots. Although I do definitely want to bring, there we go. Don't mind me just grabbing a couple of, a uh, couple of these barrels over here so we can actually uh, properly heal up a little bit after we do take some damage. Let's go ahead and venture off to some sort of a zone. I'm definitely not going to try to get the key from the uh, gatekeeper or whatever because that's just gonna end in a poop -a ton of pain especially given the fact that i have gloves and boots to protect myself that dude will probably shank me and put me over a fire to roast like a shish kebab and now i'm hungry because it's dinner time god dang it why do i do this to myself but uh, anyways where do we want to adventure we do got a little bit of coinage so i don't really mind how much further i don't know if we're ready for a level three zone I say let's venture off. Have we explored all the other bases? I don't think so, but why don't we go ahead and venture off to a level two zone and cross the fingers that the poo-poo 
does not happen, does it? Hey, it only takes 20 coins. Oh, I'm so used to everything taking 25 coins when you gotta re-up. But the last Grimsoul decided to be like, oh, we'll give you a 20% discount, baby. Even though it's not really a Well, compared to other games, it is. All right, because I think last down there it takes 25. I think Jurassic Survival, although Jurassic Survival is pretty dead, unfortunately. Still salty that it got abandoned, man. Hey, at least Grimsoul hasn't been abandoned, man. They're still working on this, and Grimsoul is definitely a lot more hardcore. It definitely is fun. It's not my favorite out of all the mobile survival games, but it definitely still does have its bright spots, and boom! I love beating me some enemies with melee weapons. That's the thing. This thing probably has the best melee weapon variety out of the entire game, because or out of all like the entire genre, because that's really all that they all oh, let me get the sneak attack on that guy first. There we go. Uh, because it is kind of like the main focus of the game. The only ranged weapons really so far are the simple bow. Now that crossbow is slated to come at some point, but currently it cannot be crafted, most likely from a lack of butch planks. But push snaps, that is something pointing to butch planks and new zones coming. In the next major update but I, i'm definitely leaning towards more towards the rating side after i haven't heard what i have but again feel free to chime in yourselves convince me otherwise if you have a different opinion because that's just my opinion that's just my most educated guess for now if y'all got a good argument we'll get to arguing because arguing isn't necessarily bad well arguing sounds bad uh discussing i think discussing is uh maybe the better word for this situation but somewhere over the rainbow psych it's not over the rainbow it's right here there lies a witch and the witch she cries but when she cries well if you come in and try to comfort her give her like a little like hug like hey it's okay little witch she just yells at you really loud and then everyone wants to murder you she, she, she is not respond well to supportive, uh, support, a supportive nature. She, I don't know what she wants, just to yell at people. I guess, you know, she really wants an outlet. Is that a voof over there? I, I, I don't know where the witch is, so I'm just gonna take out this leper. Aha! Okay, we got these two dudes ready. Yes, let's take out the Wolfie. Oh, that is not what I wanted. That is not what I wanted. That is not what I wanted. Let's go over here to this maze to finish you boys off. And we might be needing... I mean, we can use this thing, and we definitely want to go ahead and eat up some honey. But yeah, why don't I just try to attack things with a bow from afar? At least if they're not too fast. Is this the witch? No, this is the leper. Oh, check it out, man. This is where the bow is perfect, man. Take it out, lepers. This is where it excels. Let's hold it a little bit. And down you go in three shots. The, dude, honestly, that's the best thing the bow is for, really. Because anything faster than a leper will just poop on you. And anything stronger, like the knights and stuff, I don't think it penetrates their armor. Though... Hopefully that's something the crossbow will be able to do. And that's the thing, man. They're really making ranged weapons in Grim Soul with their heavy focus on melee weapons. They're really making ranged weapons a lot more like unique and special, you know, since they are so limited. Like having the crossbow is going to be a huge upgrade compared to the bow. Maybe not in fire rate. And apparently I just learned that recipe. So that's good. Might as well learn the trap then. Be ready for that. But I mean, given the fact that hopefully this will actually be able to have the stopping power to go through and like through like a knight's armor or something and actually damage them, that'll be a huge upgrade and definitely something that people do want to be working towards. But I, I wish I could sneak. That's another thing. Brimstone devs, if y'all are watching, right? I'd love to be able to pull off a sneak attack with the bow. You know, it, it makes sense. Like if you if you can take your time firing a shot, like I I feel. Oh my goodness, go what do it? What's going on with that? What's what, Mr. Wolf? Okay, that wolf is. I don't know where that wolf went, but he, he, I, I, I'm collecting his invisible body, and I also want to explore east to see what, what just is. Is that him? Did he get stuck in a tree? What happened to that wolf, my guy? Uh, okay, so that witch is over there. I'm very scared this thing's gonna break after one hit, and I don't want the witch yelling at us. Why don't we take out some more enemies nearby the witch? Continue using our bow a little bit. God dang it, we gotta deal with the dam. This is not how I was hoping this would go, because I, I can do kind of the hit and run tactics, but the bow just does not do enough damage. It has a lot of durability, less up for that, but the amount of damage it does, especially if I'm trying not to like miss or something, is nothing too nutty. But hey, we take him down. And that's a good sign. I collect some rope. Hopefully no one runs at me like a psychopath and trying to take me down. That'd be kind of poopy. Um, here we go for the witch. Because the witch is protecting the chest. I want to get to the chest to actually see what they have. Ooh. Never mind. No. Isn't the witch a little bit more south? Or am I? Yeah. No? Maybe? Where is the witch? Is that? I think that's her. Over by those two. Maybe? Am I hallucinating? Oh, god dang it. We got another damned. Ah! I hate this. I hate this. I hate dealing with you, god dang it. Oh, I didn't. That's another. Oh, my God. We have a second guy running after us. Well, oh, oh that, that's a person. He's got a shovel. I know that's just a wooden shovel. I know what I'm not welcome. I'm cool. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm cool running for that. 
I will go run it for now. I'm a little bit more naked than I should be, and maybe I shouldn't have dove straight into the level two zone. Woo! Let's slow it down and head to level one a little bit. Uh, hopefully another event decides to spawn for us, but not looking like the case so far. But hey, I'm just happy I finally got this thing to spawn in. I've, I'm not kidding when I say I've been trying for a week. I've been flustered. Like, I was literally, like, messaging, like, random discords. I'm like, how do I get it to spawn? And they're like, well, you gotta hope and pray, my guy. It's up to the grim soul of gods. The night guest. Is he really a god in the game? I don't know. But you know what I mean. Because every time I was hoping it'd be the, fu uh, not the, oh my god, I almost called it a funeral home. Uh, the graveyard coming in, I, it just ended up being, like, a cart. You know, like, I'd hear the noise that an event's coming, and then it was just the cart. And then I was like, well, hot dog. Doesn't that make me feel like poop? What up, Lepa? How how do you do? Let's try and get a couple of hits off on you. Boop. Oh, the 23 headshot. That's rough, bud. That's rough. Does this say how much damage? Oh, oh, so 23 is the max damage it can do. Huh. So whatever we just did was perfect because god dang it, we got another damn running after us. Ah -ha -ha! Uh, uh, do I have really anything to heal? I, I got a little bit. Of, I got a little bit of this. Okay, why don't we use that? I'm equipping this. I'm smacking you. Oh, I did have two smacks. I could have taken out the witch if I had hope. All right, I'm going to smack you with a torch. I'm going to flame you around a little bit. Can I just get a weapon from, from somewhere? Or do I need to craft the freaking spear up in here? No, there's no spears. There's only clubs. I think it's the cart fill that I'm thinking of. And just a long stick you poke people with. But you poke aggressively. That's the key, boys. You got to poke aggressively. Okay, there we go. That's a leper. And hey, honestly, if I could just get a level up today, I'd be happy with that because we are ridiculously close to that next level. What are we at? Like 38? Level 40 is right around the time. Is that when we get the powdered keg? Like the better... God dang it. Is that when we get the better keg or whatever? Boop! See ya. Uh, let me actually double check really quickly. Scroll through a little bit. No, but... Uh, actually, no, that is what... Oh. Oh my goodness, we unlock a lot of good stuff at 40. The torture chair will finally be able to craft up. I got the recipe from the dungeon, just I'm not actually high enough level to craft it. Still trying to work on getting the grindstone recipe. That, that thing continues to evade me. Shouts out to you, grindstone. Appreciate it. Uh, but I mean, the ability to craft up some copper stuff over here, even the copper Albrecht, I, I'm a butcher that name, but even this thing, just through using leather, thick cloth and some copper. <laughs> That's definitely some armor craft that I could get behind too. And look at these boots. They're cheap. I don't even need copper. Just need rope for the shoelaces. Cause look at them, man, them high boots. They go up high, but that torture chair will be nice. Okay, why don't we work our way towards what matters? Oh, there's only one guy. Is this a runner? That is a run God freaking dang it. I hate dealing with you. Boop. Oh, a marvelous 23. Boop. Oh my god. It's like as soon as that sound effect finishes playing. Oh, do you guys hear that? I think that's actually like a relatively good cue like you guys hear this yeah okay so definitely you want to shoot it like before like it stops but they like you know like the that sound effect i think right near the end of that that's sounding like if, if you release it kind of close to then so far i've actually been doing like 20 damage somewhere in the 20s not necessarily 23 but 20 damage oh my god are you kidding me i'm finally getting some loot and this is what i get all right i'm gonna I'm shoot you okay i'm not shooting him fast enough am i no but i'm still healing up a little bit uh i don't know yeah you know what i'm just i'm just gonna get to run and eat that i'm not welcome here I, I i need to bring more melee weapons <laughs> i think that was honestly the biggest issue i didn't expect us to run through our melee weapons so quickly and hey we got some wandering merchants well at the very least why don't we play a pit stop to these dudes hopefully no one runs up on us when i'm talking to these guys but no one grim soul and it's savagery would not surprise me that's for sure and let's cross your fingers that maybe something good will happen oh here are the merchants hello hello oh my god they got a lot of health hello my merchant friends oh 20 empty things noted i don't have those eight hour glasses also don't have those but that'd be a whole oh my god that's the thing berry drink in this game man it heals you the power of the heals is what matters the morning star that seems like a solid trade what about you Ooh, eight locks for ten of those not too shabby and no that's just deer i can't trade with the deer so it's the three merchants but i love this man this is way I, I wish last day on earth did something like this right because in last day on earth you only got one trade but over here dude you have a variety of trades you can do i mean it's only one for each merchant or whatever but like if i wouldn't mind if there were like three traders traveling as a caravan 
and last downer so we can trade with multiple and it gives you this cool kind of like little miniature town vibe you know it's kind of homey vibe i don't know i'm a sucker for that vibe man i like seeing npcs around being able to trade with them just kind of having this like homely little feel dude if grim soul ever gets like a town or a city added in oh ooh, ooh, would that be hyper when that said and with that done is gonna wrap it up this episode of grim soul survival can't wait to y'all gotta say about finally checking out the cemetery Hopefully I was helpful in helping y'all prep and know what to bring. And dude, I love this music. This is jamming. But can't wait to hear about that. And especially can't wait to hear what y'all think about this uh, Raiden update. The Lurkin in the shadows. But with that said, with that done, that's going to wrap it up for me for now. Thank you guys a whole ton for watching. Huh? This was an awesome one. And I'll talk to the next one. See ya.